My name is Shayma al Mashadani. I'm a dental public health specialist. I work as a general dental practitioner and recently I'm studying my PhD at the University of Plymouth specifically on caring and improving oral health for children with disabilities. Recently I'm residing in Dubai, UAE. In the UAE, they're adopting WHO definition, which is a broad umbrella to talk about impairments, whether they're cognitive, developmental, intellectual, sens sensory, of course, restriction of participation and activity limitation. So when we see the definition, we really understand what kind of needs they have. If it's a physical disability, then there's certain areas where they need to improve in terms of access, ramps, uh, special parking areas for them. If it's a sensory, then we need to know how to deal with the sensory issues. If it's uh, intellectual or a psychological issue, we need to know how to deal with them. We need to have professionals to take care of these people. And of course, involvement and inclusion into the community. Well, working with people with disabilities is a very satisfying and rewarding experience. Uh, when usually I have patients coming into my clinic, there are certain uh, things that we need to change and adapt to to help these people with, with disabilities. Some patients are very sensitive, sensitive to voice, uh, so we need to lower down the lights, the voice of the people who are around them and so on. And some patients require a specific kind of material that we need to provide. Uh, sometimes the dental team themselves cannot know how to handle or manage uh, in terms of behavior management treatment plan of their different needs for people of determination. Uh, another issue is the financial burden of the people who are caring uh, for these people who are disabled because many dental insurances don't cover many of the treatments that are required. I'm a doctor in the Dao Diab. I live in the United States of America in the United States of America. My job is a computer 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 نعم متلازمة الإنجلمان هي متلازمة نادرة تحصل كل ثلاثين ألف في العالم بحالة واحدة هي الجيل الموروث من الأم محذوف مما يسبب في تأخر عقلي من المتوسط إلى الشديد وأيضا هذه أطفال لا يتكلمون الكلمات محدودة ربما يقول بابا ربما يقول ماما فقط وأيضا يعانون من الصرع ويحتاجون إلى تدريب مستمر من عمر الطفولة إلى ما لا نهاية حتى يكون هناك تحسن ولكن لا يكون تحسن كبير نعم من التحديات والصعوبات اللي إحنا عانينا منها إن الأطباء لا يوجد معرفة بهذه المتلازمة أو كيفية التعامل مع هذه المتلازمة وعندما كنت أريد أن أعتني بأسنان بنتي كان لا بد لي أن أدخل عمليات حتى تستطيع الدكتورة العناية بأسنان ابنتي وكنت دائما أجد صعوبة في الحصول على الدكتور المناسب الذي يعتني بأسنان بنتي ولا يخاف منه وهذه مشكلة إذا الطبيب غاب عنه الوعي أو المعرفة بهذه المتلازمة أو المتلازمات الأخرى سوف, سوف تجد الأم صعوبة في العناية بأسنان طفلها For people of, of disabilities, they have different uh, patterns of eruption, different jaw development, they have different kinds of resistance to caries and periodontal diseases. Some of the medications they take affect their oral health, such as overgrowth of periodontitis and, and, and gum diseases. So all this has to be in consideration when you're treating them. As a pediatric dentist, dealing with children with special needs can have unique issues when it comes to uh, caring for the health of their teeth, gums and their mouth. This may be due to the general health condition that they have, need for medication that contains sugar, and high calorie uh, diet, and trouble with eating or oral sensitivity. Dental care may take a big backseat uh, to other burning medical issues. Yet, because of the greater risk for the children with the special needs, it is vital to practice good oral uh, health care through individually tailored preventive plans and maintenance. I think 
one of the important things is to catch the disease before it's too complicated. So if we catch them early, we can give them preventive measures, treat them very early in the stages of diseases, and give them a lot of support that they require. I believe that protecting the oral health for people with disabilities starts from home. Providing caregivers with the right knowledge and tools to take care of the oral health and overall health of uh, people with disabilities can prevent many oral health issues. Brushing with fluoridated toothpaste twice daily helps prevent caries and gingivitis. Toothbrushes can be modified to enable individuals with physical disabilities to brush their teeth, such as electronic toothbrushes and floss holders may improve patients' compliance. We encourage a healthy, well-balanced diet for long-term prevention of uh, dental diseases. يعني في رأيي الشخصي زيادة التوعية بالنسبة لأطباء الأسنان في كيفية التعامل مع أصحاب الهمم تبادل التجارب الناجحة في الدولة أو خارج الدولة في كيفية التعامل مع أصحاب الهمم من ذوي الإعاقات الذهنية إنشاء جمعية مختصة لعمل الدورات التثقيفية والمؤتمرات واستضافة التجارب الناجحة سواء في الدولة أو خارج الدولة في كيفية التعامل مع أصحاب الهمم التوعية من خلال مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي وطبعا أنا حابة أشكر الطبيبات اللي تعاملوا مع أسنان بنتي روضة وقدرنا أن إحنا نسوي لها عملية وننقذ أسنانها من الضياع ولكن نحن نسمو إلى أن يكون هذا هذا الوعي لدى جميع الأطباء الأسنان الموجودين في الدولة أو خارج الدولة أو على مستوى الوطن العربي على مستوى الوطن العربي I think the dental team shouldn't be only confided into the dental practice. They should go out more into the community, providing preventive messages and oral health advice to the community, whether it's the educational establishment, community centers, rehab centers, is a very important part of being a dentist. Not only that, we, we, when we reach out to the people, the people are more easily coming in to visit the dentist, being less fearful, the less anxiety happening to people coming into the dental clinic. Not only that, we start understanding the requirements, the needs, and all the gaps that are there in the community, and we as dental team help to support cover these gaps. I think the industry has a very important role in improving oral health for the community. They can help in many ways, for example, supporting the dental team to go out into the community to do oral health campaigns. They can help in the social media, spreading out oral health advice, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, or their own websites. They can also help in manufacturing certain products, such as an example as a toothbrush with a certain grip to help physical disabilities, or a certain toothpaste, for example, that has different colors or taste for people who have sensory issues. Also, they can help in equipment manufacturing, for example, dental chair that could be helpful for people with wheelchairs, and so on. I think the government has a huge role in supporting people uh, of disabilities. For example, in the UAE in 2004, the national policy came out to rename people of disabilities to people of determination. The policy aims to create an inclusive society for them and their families through services and facilities that accommodate their needs. One of the key changes this policy brought was referring to people with a special needs or disabilities as people of determination and that those responsible for the services at, at organizations will be called services officers for the people of determination. I think the UAE is doing a great job in inclusion of people of determination, whether they're in the educational establishments, community centers, rehab centers, supporting them in many healthcare uh, schemes. So I think policies, laws, and legislations are very important, and the government can really change, could be a game changer for people of disabilities. <laughs>